so in this video i have this iphone actually uh it's stuck on data recovery process uh it's updating but i do believe that there's a complication updating the device right so what we're going to be doing we're going to try and see how we can get that issue fixed but so I've just entered the password as you can see here and it just stuck right but it should take us to the recovery update screen data recovery update screen so today I'm gonna show you guys how we can fix this as you can see it's stuck and we are waiting so it is stuck as you can see that the charger is plugged in and it is not even showing us that it is charging on my meter is showing me that it is charging so here you can see slide to recover and we have to enter the password again so basically this is what i am talking about it will stuck on the screen and it will not update it will not recover so when i leave it and i think well you know the progress is happening nothing is happening but i'm as i'm stating there's a problem here because it's going to shut down at some point and then it's going to restart or something. So basically this is what I am talking about and what we have to do we are going to try and download the firmware using iTunes and do a total restore and update. I do believe that the phone was probably run out of power on update or something. So let's do that. So guys, you want to put your phone into the recovery mode. You tap, hold volume up, then you tap, hold volume down, then you hold the power button until you see this screen. You can quickly look at the version a phone you have and see how to put your version into the recovery mode so what we're going to be doing here we're going to restore and when we restore we are going to also update the device as well we will have to restore and update it will take a few minutes for us to get the firmware downloaded if it is not on the computer so as you can see it says here 17 minutes for the file to finish downloaded so as soon as it finished downloaded then we are going to restore and update now i'm going to leave the phone connected and so guys now that the file finished downloading we are going to restore and we shouldn't have any problem to reach to an update it's extracting the firmware and then it will be installing it on the phone so once we don't have any issue with the phone uh, everything should be successful i know at times iphone do have intern other internal problems and when you go to flash you end up having some sort of other issues so let's hope all goes well sometime while updating you might see that the phone just restart by itself interrupting the installation process uh, that's when your iphone have other issues also can be form can be hardware related but right now we are still extracting and i'm waiting for it to finish so it can start installing the firmware so guys we are almost there and you should see that it will start preparing the iphone for restoration and also update so here's the beginning of the process and iTunes is free so 
if it happens that you have this issue you can download it go to google.com itunes you can download it for windows and also mac computers install it and once you connect your iphone in recovery mode it will connect just like this so itunes is telling me waiting for iphone for restoration right it's saying preparing iphone for restore so yeah definitely take some time and that is why I actually said earlier ensure that you have battery power and also make sure that you don't unplug your device or it does run out of power so it's restoring the iPhone software and once it restore that's what we want yeah and this is actually taking a lot of time I am just not filming the entire process as it go along but I'm just capturing the important part of it so if you notice that it is taking longer it can be because of your computer but it do take some time for it to restore And now it's verifying iPhone restoration. So that's what it is doing here now. So it's actually taking some time. And as you can see, it's restoring iPhone firmware. so don't panic just allow it to finish when it is finished you will actually see that the bar is completed and the phone will automatically restart for itself if it doesn't finish then there can be another issue if the phone restart before it's finished then you want to if it restart before it finish you will have to do everything over from the beginning and if it happens again then there can be other problems with the device or also it can be that there's an issue with your data cable it can also be there's an issue with your charging port so good connectivity to your computer is always essential. And this is why it's good to have a good battery power when you do this so that you don't have complications. So guys it's completed and this is what you will see when it is completed and once you see iTunes off there will be a message bar in the middle you can just press ok or in about few seconds it will just disappear and as you can see here it just this is just the optimization you can unplug the cable now and allow this to complete
and once this is completed then you know we are good to go you will need to enter back your passcode or your iCloud's credentials so yeah that's a procedure with iPhones once it's been used before once you have find my phone enabled the restoration was successful we didn't have any issue set up manually so guys we're basically done as you can see everything was successful and there's an awesome issue with this phone the Wi-Fi antenna is not working but we'll have to activate this using iTunes but this is how you actually fix this issue and I hope I hope that this was helpful and I hope that this was helpful guys do like share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below